Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back at it again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, it is straight buzzer topics where I compile a bunch of little bite-sized topics into a full video. So if you're interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, my unpopular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. I know some of you guys are like, didn't you just do a straight buzzer topics video today? I actually did. So you guys are actually getting a late night treat. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like uploading like a late night straight buzzer topics video because I'm just in a really good mood today like I was, I've been playing my game all day like I've been bugging out on Legend of Zelda or whatever I, I finally started my third business like I'm getting the gears turning on my business that I said I was starting in the summer and I've been getting the gears turning on that I'll be doing some more work on that tomorrow and I just had overall like a really good day like I'm getting ready to gear up to purchase my summer vacation at the end of the week like I am so happy I just feel so fulfilled <laughs> and I feel so accomplished so I was like let me put out another video since I'm gonna get moved and I know how much some of you guys like these when I do them so even if they don't get monetized I still upload them um, because I like doing them and you guys like watching them so it works out either way though let's go ahead and get into the first topic and this topic is about sweetie no but that's so look it I feel like it's not popular no it's not I intentionally went there because it's not popular like in the black yeah. community mm -hmm. and I don't want nobody from like my family or my friends of my family seeing me work at the strip club because you know like the the customers there like it's very specified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, okay, you guys. So, Sweetie is going viral apparently because allegedly she worked at a strip club at one point in her life. I guess before she was really big, before she got put onto the mainstream music industry. And people had some things to say because they were like, wait, what? Because as we do remember, um, Sweetie did have an interview go viral where she was saying that she was couch surfing and that she's homeless allegedly and then now she's coming out to say that she was a stripper and that she had like a stage name and you know she didn't tell her friends and family about it and people were trying to figure out like this is so random of like this information that's coming out now about her they feel like it's fake they feel like she's lying about being homeless they feel like she's lying about you know being a stripper and that she's saying and doing this stuff to try to seem uh down to earth or seem for the people or with the people in terms of you know having like a lowly life because as far as a lot of people understood um sweetie was a nepotism baby and that her you know her mom was in the industry her dad and other people like that so some people don't believe that this really happened um i'm not one to say that because you know she could come from money but there have been a portion of time in her life where she wasn't receiving help or maybe her family cut her off you know i don't know we never know what's going on um, some people saying she's lying. I'm not one to say, you know, anyone is lying unless they have a history of lying or we know them to be liars. Then I'd be like, okay, she could be lying. Um, I don't know Sweetie to lie about a lot of things. So maybe this did happen. You guys let me know. Do you believe Sweetie or do you feel like she's just saying stuff just to say it? <laughs> that was it for her. Let's move on to the next person. Say Justin B. I'm the a D D E S T. Same host hating used to want to be besties. You okay, you guys. So this is Megan the Stallion and her new tequila bottle. I just wanted to talk about it because like it looks so cute. That bottle looks really cool. Like it looks really cool. I love the way it looks. I like that she's previewing it, getting fans ready and excited for it. Are you guys planning on purchasing her like new tequila bottle or anything like that? A lot of people were saying that they felt like it was interesting she was one with tequila because she's kind of been like a Hennessy girl or a cognac girl and whatever, whatever, which is definitely true. And see, listen, I can't, mm -mm. <laughs> I can't do tequila like that. I mean, I can. But tequila for me is like a turn up type of liquor. And unless I'm trying to get lit and out my body, don't don't give me no tequila. Like I like whiskeys because it's more of a chill down, you know, relax, unwind type of thing for me. Cognacs, whiskeys, things like that. But rum and tequila turn my body up. Turn me up. Turn me up. That's my party. 
go out, hang out type of thing. And so I, mm -mm, I'll probably buy it, have a couple sips out of it and let it sit because I am not really big on tequila on my regular everyday days but either way regardless of the type of liquor that she's putting out i'm proud of her i'm proud of her she's getting on her business tip getting into her business endeavors you know she's doing her tour she's doing xyz i'm proud of her i'm proud of her for getting to the bag and doing what she needs to do so you guys let me know did you like how the bottle looked are you guys going to be purchasing and moving on to the next topic i'm so annoying why do you guys watch me next up is miss bia 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 i can't think of a song y'all y'all help me how did what does the song go it's a whole lot of money in this mud sucker. Yeah. It's a whole lot of money in this mud sucker. I don't I can't even th yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> apparently Bia is getting ready to drop a single on us, okay? I'm not a big fan of Bia's music. I'm really not, you know. I like that song she had with Russ years ago. I really thought it was going to be up for Bia after that, and she hasn't really done a lot since. I like the song Whole Lot of Money with Nikki. Um, but other than that, Bia is boring. <laughs> She's boring. Is she a bad rapper? No. Is she interesting? No. Um, She's quiet and out of the way for the most part. I appreciate her unproblematicness. Like, she's not really problematic. She doesn't really get into much drama. She kind of stays to herself. But that's not why Bia is boring. It's just her rap style that's more boring than anything else. Her music is lackluster to me. But, okay, but she's previewed this snippet. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. When the lights mm. out, still can see me shining on my lighthouse. Lights out, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got so excited when I came across that on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, I love that. That sounds like a summer bop. It sounds like something you would hear in like a rave low key or like an EDM club or bar or setting. But it sounds really floaty and vibey and fun and airy and summery. Oh, somebody save the summer. Ooh, that's a lot of S's in my lisp. Please. Oh, anyway somebody come and save us because the summer is not hitting like that like what female rap anthem do we have for the summer we have i guess wannabe yeah glow is still hot you know we have a couple of songs that are relevant but not a lot there's not a lot going on the pop girlies are kind of taking over for me in that capacity like you know sabrina carpenter whatever with her song but this song sounds like it could be fire you know, it's a small snippet, so it could be trash, but from that little piece, I got chills from it, and I don't get chills from no Bia songs. That's first first and foremost, but um, <laughs> it sounds good, so you guys let me know what you think. Would you be tuning in for Bia? When she drops that song, I'm gonna do a formal review because I liked how that sounded. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Okay, so next up is Lotto. Big, big energy. Yeah, tell me how you want it. Three, two, one, and I'm on it. Feel good, don't it? Uh, fuck you in a bonnet. I'm a big lot of put in money. Ooh, if I let you put your hands all over me, and it's something, something, something in the streets. Wait, is it the sheets? Something, something, you got the recipe. You hit the lottery. Listen, I don't know. Anyway, um, anyway, so Lotto apparently is on vacation in Jamaica or whatever, so the Shade Room had posted some pictures and videos of her she looked cute she looked like she's having a great time i am jealous because i want to be on vacation right now in jamaica or any place that's not where i'm at now another reason why she's in the headlines outside of her being in jamaica is the fact that apparently she's getting made fun of for being a side chick but my thing with that is when is she not being talked about for allegedly being a side chick like every other week Every other week, she's in the headlines because of some reference to 21 Savage or her allegedly mentioning him or her being flown out on a jet because allegedly 21 sent the jet for her. It's every week we hear about something having to do with Lotto being a side chick, allegedly. And, you know, I don't know. 
I kind of believe it a little bit because she hasn't shown who her man is. We don't know who she has been with and she's been with the same person for the last three years or so. We don't know who, you know, just because most people on social media, if they talk about their man, eventually they do show them like everybody else that we know has shown their man, you know, for the most part. So I do kind of believe she probably does have to keep it a secret. I, I didn't believe the rumors at first, but at this point, it's been three years. She talks about him all the time. So it's clear she wants to talk about him, but she's never said his name or posted a picture or like she's never even posted a picture of her man where like, you know, you blur the face out and you put an emoji over it. Like she's never done that even. And it's like, oh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that she really is with 21 and she is a side chick allegedly? Mm. I don't know. If she is, that's really sad because it's like there's so many men and she's in the industry and you would think that she would have the access to all of these like rapper dudes or even if they're not rappers, just rich men in general, <laughs> like just men with money and access that she could attach herself to that she doesn't have to hide allegedly, you know, uh, I couldn't do it me personally, but me though, if I was in the industry, if I was a rapper or singer, I would not want my man to be a rapper or a singer or anything. I'd want him to be an out the way business dude who was about his bread and he was like a professional business like some I don't know a lawyer or this or that a really influential like business person I would not want my man to be a part of the same industry as me a singer a rapper a this or that hell no a producer hell no I'd want somebody tucked away with money who is just focused on me I don't know that's just me anyway <laughs> that's a tangent but anyway what do you guys think do you guys think she's a side chick for real mm. let me know anyway moving on ah! <laughs> next up is normani oh my goodness i'm so happy um she just put out a snippet teaser thing um about her album um part of it looked like a music video potentially for um the song she just put out with gunna um was it 159 yeah 159 and then at the end of the snippet, she teased Candy Paint and the video is amazing. And I can't play the full thing because the music is in it, but I can play like little pieces of it. So I'm going to show you parts of it. If you don't watch the full thing here, go on to Instagram and Twitter. It's there. I promise you. you Hello, hotline 159. Woo! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I had to chop the video up. I can't show the full thing, guys. But, ma'am, she look ama She looks amazing, especially like on the on the rockin'. She's like all glazed up in the freaking gray, silverish paint stuff. Please. And then the video breakdown of her dancing her in the black, like, <laughs> and then she was on the payphone and she was talking and talking about fulfilling desire. Whose desires you fulfilling on mine? Cause damn, like who? I, I'll take it. Shit, damn. Normani is beautiful. She's amazing. I love her. I'm so excited. I loved 159. I don't know about you guys. Like some people were saying, oh, 159 was boring. Da da da. Okay, it wasn't like the most high, you know, energy track ever, but it was like a slow down R&B, you know, R&B vibe. I like that. And also, I know Candy Paint is about to come out and that's what she teased at the end of that video. But I have a feeling, it's just a gut feeling. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I'm going to like 159 more than Candy Paint. Because like for me, Candy Paint doesn't sound bad, but for whatever reason, like the vibe of 159 is the vibe that I like on normani more i don't know we'll see how i feel about candy paint <laughs> i always have the opposite like like songs of you guys so like if you guys love a song i hate it if i love a song you guys hate it that's that's usually how it goes oh well guys i don't know but we'll see with candy paint <laughs> tell me what you guys think of that snippet or that little video preview i'm so excited her album comes out in june let's go let's go, go. Next up is Miss BB Rexa. Okay, BB Rexa, she's a pop girly. Um, is she a main pop girly? No, 
she kind of does like electronic music and she did the recent song i'm good and i'm feeling all right maybe i'm gonna have the best effing night of my life or whatever that song went crazy i don't like it i didn't like it but it went crazy so i have to give her that um she just put out a song I didn't do a review on it because I know most people probably aren't. But, you know, for our BB Rexa fans, you know, I follow BB Rexa. I see her stuff all the time. Like, I actually really do love BB Rexa. I, but I miss the BB Rexa days where she was singing, like, in the name of love, in the name of love. And then the song she did with uh, David Guetta and Nicki Minaj. Uh, like dum dee dee day i want to hear you calling my name like hey mama mama hey. like i miss that time like i miss that bb rexa like the music she's putting out now it's like you can tell she's trying but it's just like mm, you guys let me know do you guys like the song chase it do you guys listen to bb rexa like her music is just generic to me and it's so frustrating like as somebody who grew up listening to her i won't leave alone tonight i mean i mean if you're into the rave rage electro scene i guess it, it might appeal to you a little bit more if you're into that i get but it's just <sighs> I think she has a niche audience of music listeners. Like, it's a very niche, you know, EDM kind of. But it's still so generic, even for that genre, I think. It's just, there's nothing deep about it. There's nothing interesting about it. The, the instrumentation of it, like, the style of the EDM just feels generic and average. <sighs> the lyrics, it's just nothing stands out about bb rexa anymore she used to have a kind of a defining sound her voice is electric electric her voice is very distinguishable beautiful i love her voice nobody sounds like bb rexa but her music itself uh i don't know you guys let me know anyway that is it for this one i love you guys and let me know if you guys want me to make these more often i'm sure you do but it's hard for me to find topics because I'm not going to talk about just anything. It has to interest me. I have to care. But I will go digging for topics for you guys if it means you want them more. So I love you and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.